right, so we are right now into 22 minutes. Uh, you see that 22 minutes and seven seconds of a call to DJI. So actually I started the call quite a while ago. And now I am back to the house. Thanks, Mama. I love you. All right, so the call is about uh, what we're having a call about here are these, obviously the DJI Coggles V2. So we have done everything that we're supposed to be doing. We have changed the firmware, we've downgraded, we signed in as a DJI after sales guy, uh, after product, whatever it is, and did all that, downgraded the firmware, and still we're not able to get the, the, um, the menu and change uh, the, um, let me turn down this music, sorry. The worst music. But have not been able to change to be able to activate the uh, goggles, right? And um, so we decided, I decided, I worked on it actually, I spent about, I don't know, maybe a total of 10, 12 hours on it this weekend um, to try to come up with different options. I mean, I've done everything. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't, the only thing that appears to work is if I'm gonna link it to a drone. So the concern that we have here is, well, let's just say, and this, you know, could happen, I guess, but let's just say you get the goggles and you break the drone. Now, the drone doesn't function the minute you get it. So then you still want to activate the goggles to work with your air unit, right? Let's just run it on that scenario. Well, if you run it like that, it's not working. And I have done everything under the sun. So I am now going to get them on the phone. I'm going to hold them to it and get over this 500 videos that are online. Everybody's saying it works, it doesn't work, and all these nonsense folks trying to be first to bring the solution yet they don't know what they're talking about or they haven't tested it. So we're gonna do it now. And we're gonna keep DJ, DJ on the line. Hopefully our call doesn't get dropped, but if it does, uh, the gentleman who was talking to me just a minute ago while I was in the car on the way back here, told me that he's got my number now and he will call me if there are any issues, okay? So while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of go over what's been done here. Um, this isn't an issue of a battery. I can tell you that before anybody says anything, we have a fully charged battery sitting right here. We've done it with the battery, it didn't work. Uh, it will not get out of FPV mode uh, in order to bind or in order to activate using the uh, DJI tool. Now I use, uh, this is the, actually the um, XT60 barrel connector for DJI and I use an AC to DC adapter. So right now when I turn this on, I'm gonna give this probably about uh, I'll give it about 18 volts, okay? And we'll get a screen to come on here. Uh, I won't be able to show you much of the screen, I don't think. Let me see if I zoom in though, what you'll see. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna see much of anything. I was hoping I might get something here. I think that's just the DJI logo right now, or the words DJI. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Actually, no, it's on the active, it's, it's at that point. Let me just zoom back out. So there's really nothing here that I can show you as of right now. Now what I can do is you can see that I put this foam piece right here. That was actually so that I could hook this up. So this is the GoPro that I'm gonna use. Let me make sure I got a memory stick in there. I do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then if I just place this, it'll sit perfect like that. And I should be able to see. And there, now you could somewhat see what I see, right? So let me just, yeah, just like that. And you can see what I'm talking about. So we're at that activation screen. Now, it looks kind of weird looking at it this way, but I can assure you that from the DJI, sorry, from the GoPro camera, it's very clear. Just right now, it looks a little unclear, but that's because I got a camera filming a camera. There you go. So as you can see, we're right here. Now, if I hit the button and I can go down and I can hit OK, Yes, sir. How are you? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. And um, I was able to get some information here from our uh, on my end. Um, I just have a question uh, regarding the issue um, from the DJI goggles, sir, uh, or the FPV goggles. Is your customer um, uh, purchase the combo unit, sir, or just the goggles only? The combo unit. Okay. But um, they are all uh, purchased a combo unit, and most of them are not able to activate the goggles. Not with not they cannot activate the goggles on their own. Okay, they're, they're, they're at, the only way the activation is happening right now is if they 
they have to uh, basically link the goggles with the drone, have it all turned on, and then they can activate through the Fly app. The problem is, is for those customers that receive the drone and it's just, uh, one of them, like I said, it broke. The minute he took it out, he dropped it. I guess it was him and his kids. They broke the drone. I've got the goggles sitting here with me now. Uh, they're actually on my desk as I'm talking to you. Um, and the, they're, they cannot activate them so he can at least use them with the air unit. Okay, so for those people that did the, and that wasn't necessarily the case until they did the update. So we need to figure out how to activate these things uh, properly because DJI has put out a statement that says that if you downgrade, uh, apparently they put out a, a, a information, if you downgrade, then they'll allow you to downgrade the firmware and then you can change that mode, but that's not working. Um, you said, sir, that um, they are not, uh the drone in the um, the FPP drone is not linked on the goggles, sir. Because um, DJI FPP aircraft must be binded to DJI goggles during activation, sir. But it's not. It's not. It's not. But it's not bound. So the problem is, though, is that fine. So it's not bound. So you're telling me that the FPV V2 goggles that come with the DJI drone kit cannot work without a drone? Because that's not what DJI has published. That's not what they're saying right now. Right, but what if they can't do that? Then apparently DJI has put out that there's a firmware to load, because this is only because of the firmware. The firmware has changed this, all right? So the question is, is if the person doesn't have the drone, how can they activate the goggles? Because the V2 goggles, the, the, hold on, the V2 goggles without the drone can be activated with no problem using the uh, using the software, the DJI, uh, uh, the, um, oh my gosh, hold on, I'm drawing a blank here, the uh, assistant, the DJI assistant too. Yeah. So we need to get these into out of FPV mode so that we can activate them without the drone. And DJI has put out a publication that says that's possible. So I want to know how we do that. Okay, for them to be able to assert to um, um, uh, activate the goggles, or they would need to um, uh, download the latest version of DJI Assistant to the version 2.1.0 okay. from our website. Okay. Okay. All right. Then, then um, once they have already logged in, uh, uh, they are um, all right. Uh, once they're able to uh, uh, what I call this, download the latest version of the yeah, there's a lot of noise on the line. Can you find out what that is? Because I'm sitting at my desk, so I know that's not coming from my side. Sure. Sure. No problem. No problem at all. Thank you, sir. All right. So as you can see right now, we've got conflicting stories here. Okay. So the, the, the issue that we've got now is, is you get the package. You don't link your drone to it, right? So the goggles are apparently useless. Well, that was addressed apparently with all these videos and, oh, you sign it. As a matter of fact, um, let me show you. Let me, let me just go ahead and show you what, what the recommendation is. First, let me add the computer screen. Let me lower this back a minute. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the computer screen. Let me show you that real quickly. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this and this. I'm gonna come up here. Okay, so on, on our page here, we have the DJI Assistant 2, and this is the newest version, okay? So let's get that to open. Can open here just a second. just give it a second okay here we go now I'm gonna plug the goggles in okay now here's where the discussion comes in here's the goggles right problem is is that when I click them 
it's going to check for an update and it's going to say the update is 0101. Well, if you look at the screen here, I can show you that. Let me see. Go to the about. Here, I'll show you this real quickly. Let me show you. This is pretty much the only way I can get you right now to be able to see what I'm looking at. So let's go to about. I think that's the screen. Let me see. Okay. So this is the firmware that we have now, which is the 0586, I believe, whatever that is. Let's see if I can get that on the camera. Sorry, I was not the best prepared for that, but that, well, you'll have to take my word again. Uh, what this is, this version is, and let me look, is 05.18.06. Now that is the version that we were told we would need in order to downgrade uh, the system back. Okay, now let me zoom out, because I know this is not easy to watch, so let me just zoom out. Okay, so let me show you where that is on the screen, right? What apparently DJI did is they said, hey, look, when you sign in, uh, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, okay, so here's our stuff right here, right? So we're gonna get back out, and we're gonna go to the login screen, and this time we're gonna use that DJI account that we've been told to use, that everybody's talking about. So it's gonna be DJI, wait for it to catch up on typing, underscore after sales, at outlook.com with the password capital DJI one two three four five six and the verification code there is B M H B I guess so B M H B okay we're gonna click that we have read so my mouse here there it is sign in now when we click okay watch what happens See if I can get this to pop up. So we can disconnect. See how there's that new version right there? This is a new version, which is actually uh, an old version. As you can see, we're on V01. This is V00, but it was released after V01 was released, okay? And this is the one that we're told that if we load this one, it will flash the can, it will go back to the goggles and it'll make it to where we can get to the about screen and make it work. Well, that's not true. That's not happening, okay? And so we have a serious problem here. Um, and so I'm waiting to see what they say because what would be absurd, right, is if somebody buys the goggles and the drone kit and, uh, does not have the drone kit set to activate uh, with the goggles, and therefore your goggles are useless. And that's why they've said that they've offered this firmware downgrade. This downgrade is supposed to get you to where you can switch over out of FPV mode, which is the mode that is set with their drone, and this way you can activate it from uh, this DJI Assistant, okay? And so that's the problem, is it's not so much the activation as it is trying to switch out of the FPV mode. Now, the easy fix for this is to find a drone and bind to it just for that activation purpose. But that's absurd. I mean, these are $600 goggles, $560 goggles, and they should be able to activate. This is a complete screw up on DJI side. Okay, and I don't care who is saying it's fixed. I'm telling you right now as a dealer for DJI and somebody who's had 80 of these goggles coming through. Yes, sir. Um, sir, um, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Sure, it's sure. The email address is T as in Tom, A R E K. Uh huh. T A R E K at, and then it's going to be my company name. It's Cyclone C Y C, L O N E, and then the letters F. Well, it's Cyclone F P V. Frank Paul Victor. So CycloneFPV.com. Alpha Romeo Echo 
That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Sir, I will send you the email um, right away. Yeah, but I'll but could you, you could you are you gonna stay on the phone with me? Hello? Yes, are you gonna stay on the phone with me? Hello? I'm so sorry, sir. I cannot understand what you're saying. I said are you gonna stay on the phone with me? Are we gonna be able to stay on the phone right now? Sir? Uh, No, I know that. I know that. But I've already followed the instructions. So I was wondering if you could just tell me what the instructions were, because I'm pretty sure I've already done the instructions and it's still not working. Uh, so I was wondering, could you tell me what the instructions were real quick, just so I can see if that's the, because I've already been sent some. I want to know if that's the same one. Okay. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Is, is it, let me ask you this. Is it the, is it the one where I sign in? Under the username DJI underscore after sales at outlook.com? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I signed in as DJI underscore out, uh, after sales at outlook.com uh, and I use the password capital DJI with the numbers 123456, correct? Yes. Okay, and then when I do that um, and I make sure that the, the authorization settings are checked on and I go to the firmware. I will see an option for firmware 00.05.1806, which I'm to download. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And once I, once I download and flash that to my goggles, I should be able to then go into, uh, get into the about screen and switch out of FPV mode. Is that correct? Oh, okay. So the problem is, is that's not working because that's what I've got right now on the goggles. I've done this. And on the goggles right now, the firmware that's on these goggles is 00.05.1806. And when I plug that in, when I plug the goggles in now, they're in the computer right now with DJI Assistant 2 FPV series, and the goggles come up, there is no option to activate. And in the About menu on the goggles, there's no option to switch out of FPV mode. That's the problem. Well, is, I mean, the, the one thing I don't have is if you send me the instructions, I, I think the only thing I can tell you is after I load the firmware, right? So right now I'm plugged into the DJI uh, uh, Assistant 2 and I'm under the username uh, DJI underscore after sales, okay? And when I click on my goggles, they show up. And when I click on them, it says current version is the one I told you, 05.1806. And it says the latest version is 01.01. .01. The 05 is the one that's loaded in my drone, I mean on my goggles right now. And the problem is, is as they're sitting here now, um, they're, the about menu, the screen still tells me that I need to plug into the Fly app to activate. So when I go to the about screen, and I'm scroll, I'm doing it right now as I talk to you, okay? So let me do that real quickly. As I go to the about screen, and I go to scroll down, there is no option to change the modes. So what I'm wondering is, what do you do when it still when the firmware has changed and it still doesn't work? Because that's what's happening with my customers. We all tried this, some of them it worked, some of them it didn't, and I'm sitting here trying to figure out now, what do we do when it doesn't work? Is there another firmware version that we could try like 01. Dot, uh, let me see, it was, I think it was 00. Dot, I don't know, it was a six. I think it was 01.06 or, um, it was before this one came out, uh, the newest one. And um, so again, I'm just trying to figure out, I need a different firmware. I need to try something else if possible because we can't still activate it. Ah, uh, okay, I understand, sir. So, so this instruction was you already did this, sir. Oh yeah. Right, I've done that one a couple times. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to help you with regard to that issue, sir. So um, let me see here further. I wanted to investigate here for okay. my system. Uh, whatever, um, what, um, what anything, uh, what I can do for you. Excellent, okay. excellent. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay. No problem, sir. I'll get
Yeah, can you still can you still could you still send me that email anyway though? Could you send me the email anyway just so I have it? Okay, I will send you the email again. Okay. Uh, I will send you the email. Okay, and I'll stay on I'll stay on I'll stay on hold while you um, see if there's any other options. Okay, sir. Um, I will send you the email right now. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for understanding. I will uh, send it to you right now. Okay. 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 And then um, at the same time, after I send it to Sir, uh, we'll uh, check this further for any uh, possible um, uh, possible um, resolution with regards to the issue that you are encountering right now with your goggles. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem, Sir. Thank you for understanding, Sir, and thank you for um, for your time, Sir. You got it. I will put you on hold right now. Okay. Uh, thanks, so much. Uh huh. Thank you, sir. I mean, I, I'm gonna lie to you. The guy's extremely polite, right? No problems with the guy. He's getting, uh, you know, and, and how it works. I mean, they got like a, a probably a book or a manual of what to do, step one, step two, and so forth. And he's extremely polite, so I will give him that. Um, problem is, is uh, you know, as a consumer, I'm, obviously as a dealer, it's frustrating. Um, and what's more frustrating is that there are people posting, oh, here's the fix, here's the fix, and then you've got people saying, okay, that's not working. And at the end of the day. Uh, people are basically reposting somebody else's stuff. It's like nobody's testing it. It doesn't seem like people are testing it because if they were, I can't be the only person that's gonna say this doesn't work, right? Um, the only difference is I've got 80 goggles. So like for me, it's a bigger deal. I've got 40 something, 50, 50 grand almost worth of goggles sitting here and gotta get something done because I can't in my right mind sell these and I sure as heck don't need some of these uh, you know, alias chumps that are trying to put instructions out there trying to guide people the wrong way. I mean, I, I, I really, uh, half my anger is in the fact that people who don't know what they're doing are just basically reposting stuff. And then it just becomes confusing and the whole web is convoluted with stuff that makes no sense. So I was like, hey, look, the best way to do this, let's just go ahead and get DJI on the phone and let's see how far their tech support can take us because this set of goggles right here is an actual pair of V2 goggles out of an FPV drone kit, all right? And there is absolutely no reason that it would make any sense that this kit uh, that these goggles should not be, uh, the owners of these goggles should not be afforded the same uh, uh, features as someone else, um, especially if they don't have the Fly app uh, available at the moment. And I mean, can you imagine you, you spend $1,200 on something and oh my God, now you better have a cell phone with the Fly app or else you're screwed. Well, that's dumb, okay? Um, and, you know, I mean, if you've got a PC and you're ready to go, everything should be available on the PC. And, and, I, and I don't like how, and now if you have a Fly app, if you have the Fly app and you didn't download for the Android from DJI's website, that's going to have a problem. I mean, DJI really dropped the ball on this one. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to continue to, uh, obviously we're going to continue to wait on hold. Hopefully this gentleman will come back. Um, and I'm going to make sure that the email hasn't come through and it hasn't. So we're just going to leave it like that for now. Um, let's do this here. This is the number. That's their number I called. And uh, I mean, as far as the goggles go, and I will, I will post the video from this camera at the same time. And I know you can't see it very well there, but I promise you it'll look really good. I usually would use a microscope, one of the microscopes, but I don't feel like moving it right now. So again, I'm looking at it and I mean, I'm at the same spot here. So, you know, if you were to zoom in at all, that's not gonna help you either. I need to... here to change out uh, to switch the version so it's disappointing I'll leave that there for right now no I, I know it doesn't look good to you guys but
And you can see here, this is, look at, look, look, look. I mean, if somebody says I didn't try this, I mean, look at this. Bam, 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 14, 14, 15. I mean, we've done this a million times. Uh, I mean, a lot of times. And it's not helping at all. So, um, hopefully we can get an answer. I love these release notes. Awesome release note, by the way, DJI. Really put a lot of time into that as well. I swear, it doesn't make any sense. Forty-seven, forty-eight 48 minutes just now on the phone. Let's see what happens. Oh, and for anybody that's saying, I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but it says it's not because it's because I'm not using the battery. Um, that's not true. All right, not in this case. So the battery has absolutely no purpose here. I've done the full battery. It's still the same thing. I mean, what we're talking about is a menu option opening up on the firmware. I almost feel like there should be an option to, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see. Let me see. Um,
my god, they're just expecting me to sleep. Oh boy, this is gonna make me tired. I'm gonna run it again. Might as well. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh. Imagine, man, uh, customers doing this. I mean, I'm irritated. I'm irritated now. This is ridiculous. I can't fly my DJI goggles when I know that I've got customers that can't fly theirs. And they literally don't have a fix. It's just so ridiculous. There, that's the thing is there should be a way to hard reset this thing. Like to just wipe it, you know, like basically bare minimum and then get back to it. And of course DJI is not doing that. So you have to go to hacks to do it. SD cards full. We'll deal with that later.
Oh my gosh. Check this out. Oh my god, I'm tired. And we are now on the phone for one hour, one minute, and 17 seconds. Whew. All right, so we did the reboot, right? It's still not there. Still not an option. I wonder if I can do this. Well, this might work for you guys to see for the time being. A little bit of a, that might work. Let me see. screen right there there wish I could not have it so blurry So we the settings. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Do we're about. And that's gonna be aircraft for a mark. This is the goggle firmware. Let's see if I can get this clearer for you guys to be able to read this. Hold on. If you can see that, that is what that says right there, which is hard to read, is 0538, or it's either 05, maybe 051806. Okay, that's the firmware. And if I scroll down, you'll see that once we get the battery serial number and then battery cycle, whatever, and then we have buy safe database, then we have reset all. And that's it. We have nothing else on here. Okay. All right, let me get out of that. I just wanted to try to show you guys what we're talking about. Hey, let me let me ask you something. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop you right there. I just received your email with the instructions, okay? Yeah. And there's a there's a discrepancy. There's a discrepancy in your email and the instructions that were posted. So let me run something by you real quickly uh, because something is not something is not the same here. So in the email that you sent, uh, let me let me give me a second to find that real quickly. Okay, in the email you sent, it says to download version 2.1.0, which I've done, okay? Um, and, and then it says, uh, let me see, login DJI underscore after sales outlet, connect the DJI FPV goggles, 
and uh, and basically uh, do the update to 05.1086. Okay, um, yes. so the first thing that's wrong here is that it says 1086. I'm assuming this is just a mistake because it's actually 1806. I want to make sure that we're still even talking about the right. Actually, I'm looking on your screenshot. It is 1806. The instructions are just written wrong. That's fine. But here's the next problem. The next problem is that after it says to do that, uh, enter the firmware update page and update. And then it says, enter the goggle setting about switch to DJI FPV. Okay, that doesn't work, right? And then it says, once you do that, uh, you should be able to reboot to activation. And then it says, go back and go to firmware 01.00.0606. Okay, 01.00.0606 doesn't exist. Like it's not, it doesn't even come down as an option. The only options now are 01.01. .01. So uh, again, I'm curious, where is the 01.00.0606? Because it's not on the website at all. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that's the right DJI username. Um, so here, let me give you the goggle serial number first. I'm gonna give you this one. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Let's just figure out if they can solve this one. And then from there, I can assume that the rest of them are gonna have probably the same solution. But right now, my focus is on this particular pair because it's the one sitting in my hands right now. Okay, so I can at least personally test it and make sure. So the serial number for this goggle is 37. S like Sam, B like boy, H like Henry, 94001110, M like Michael, S like Sam. Okay, 37, uh, Sierra Bravo Hotel, 94001110, Mama Sierra. That's correct. That is your number, sir. That's correct. Okay. Um, sir, um, Okay. Do you do they have an idea? Do they do they have an estimated time? Do you know if that's going to be something they're going to get on right now or help me with be able to get back with me today on? I mean, just curious. Actually, sir, the, um, sometimes it would take 24 to 40 hours, but um, that is a time frame for us uh, to get the resolution and also for the process. Um, we'll let you know sir, on the time frame, sir, if we have an available resolution for them. Okay. okay. I will keep in touch with you, sir. Okie dokie. I appreciate you, so I'll uh, I'll wait to hear back from you. Thanks so much. No problem, sir, man. I'm uh, special to help you because I really wanted to resolve this kind of issue. Yes, okay. sir. I appreciate your time. You have a good day, sir. All right. Thank you so much, for, sir. Are you going to leave before we get this call? Nope. That's all I needed, man. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you so much for calling, DJ Technical Support, and have a great day, sir. You Thanks too. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so it uh, looks like we're stuck, right? Um, we are now, uh, that call was roughly, uh, let's see, it was one hour and 10 minutes, and the instructions are wrong. Uh, their instructions are typed incorrectly, um, but again, I'm not picking on the guy for that. What I am bothered about is the fact that uh, they literally don't have a solution here. So um, it, it makes DJI underscore after sales at outlook.com. DJI, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's what we did. Enter goggles, go to setting, about, switch to DJI, switch to DJI, whatever, click OK and reboot. 
Uh, nope, and it doesn't work. So, um, and this is the pictures. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. So here are the pictures that they're showing, and this is what it should look like. Uh, so it says put in the DJI after sales, and then you should get to a, a screen like this. And here you can see it's version 01.01, .01, okay? And then they say go to your screen here, and under the reset all it should be, and it's not. Uh, we don't get that at all, okay? And then they say when you go back, you should be able to go to 01.00.0606. Not really sure why you would do that, considering that uh, that was a firmware that came out in February. Uh, I mean, this is, this is dumb. This is absolutely asinine. So um, I do want you guys to know that we're on it. Uh, I am doing everything I can with DJI. Um, I, I will say that uh, DJI has, has really... Um, drop the ball on this. Uh, I mean, there's nothing, guys. There's absolutely nothing. And I still get the same reboot. I still get the same screen. So, uh, complete disappointment there. And uh, I will let it go with this. Okay? So, um, all right. So, guys, I'll be back in touch with you as soon as I hear something. Um, and, uh, and we'll figure out what's going on. Okay? And we'll talk to you soon, guys. If you have any questions, please always hit us up. Uh, go to the cyclonefpb.com website. And then please, as always, please subscribe to our page and uh, let us know if we can ever help you. I always appreciate your support. God bless. Be safe, guys. And don't forget, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so go make the most of it. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. Peace.